me. Maybe later, JJ. Someone can let them know about the stream. <laughs> that would be great. Because <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, a bit busy. Um, a bit busy right now doing the commentary. Hey, we got Mash FGC against Takopo. Another another player we've seen a little bit from. Zipbon getting that second hand Euro strike watch. Yes, getting in there. And Takopo, we've seen a lot of this. We've seen a lot of Brook action this evening already. Into the blender. Mash FGC using. I love that actually. That, yeah, that's the move. It can be beaten. Didn't have super, so really tough situation for Midori until he gets his dragon super. And we all want to see that dragon, especially if your name's Holly Dragon. There we go. Air B. Really useful. Your ground B dive. Ground B move is Midori. I believe in it. Even if everyone else doesn't. Against Rook. In human form. Big, I'm a big fan of it. I've done some really horrible stuff to Rooks with it. Should have Dragon Transformed that. Yeah, okay. Offensive Dragon Transform. Didn't work out for him, though. No. That, however, will. Dragon Buster cannot be beaten by Rook's special grabs or his normal grabs. Doesn't get the combo. Doesn't get. Oh, a bad talent swoop. Didn't need to do that. But Masher, FGC, showing he doesn't need to mash. Knows how to utilize that dragon mode. Wow. <laughs> I love that dragon emote. That's beautiful, Holly Dragon. Thank you. <laughs> so every time you're going to have to do that. Oh, just in range. Midori trying to walk away, but he backed himself into the corner. Does jump out of that one, though, but doesn't know the punishes. Again, we've seen quite a lot of this tonight. Great jump away, but again. Rook tanking that hit and just going into damage. This is the problem as Midori. You wanna you wanna fight back, you wanna do memes, but sometimes you've gotta just uh If you made it yourself, that's wonderful. The dragon emote being made by Holly Dragon for the dragon. Get your money's worth, I mean I'd or your time's worth maybe. Yeah, sometimes it's Midori, your best bet is to kinda of try and delay the match. Jump away, lock a lot, maybe the odd parry if you're feeling a bit um feeling a bit fruity. And do your B move, your your um Again, I said I was going to learn the moves, some of the moves, but I don't know the name of that move, actually. Ground B and Air B, the, the flying kick manoeuvre. Really useful Midori in human form. Dragon form, please. No, Masha. Mash that super. Now is the time to show us your mashing. There we go. Beautiful anti air. Could have got more damage out of that. Again, something you did. Got to learn in Fancy Strike. And the Dragon Buster will still win. Dragon Buster cannot be beaten. Get busted. However, if you go for a normal grab. And oh, a bit of a little bit. Um, Mash FGC, yeah, I think needs to play this a lot safer in human form, Midori. But be a lot more aggressive and gambling when in dragon form. Because they're kind of um, they're kind of not using their dragon form to the best of their advantage, basically. They're also not transforming quick Round enough, because unless you're like Point. in the lead, and winning as Midori, you're pretty much now again. So risky to do these attacks into Rook. You can just take that. You can just use that armor and get that knockdown. Yeah, the pressure is real. Takopo going to town now. Gets you in the corner. Real official Rook pressure in the corner. Pressure. Round two. Fight. Nah, no, wrong time. Okay, had the had the right idea. I was trying to counter that move. You could have done it with a parry. Yeah, Takopo's really getting the better, the upper hand of this one now. They definitely know all the tricks. Know all the tricks, perhaps. We've seen them miss a couple of punishes, and maybe they don't understand the Dragon Buster interaction. But yeah. Perfect. Yeah, those Oki throws. Yeah, Takopo's definitely uh, definitely figuring out this. Uh, perhaps a lot more experience than Masher FGC. But despite their mashing name, they are not mashing. Okay, this I like. This is the flying kick move that I was trying to say. It's actually very useful. Great dragon form, Dragon Buster. Oh, no. Did go for the army counter, but the timing of the dragon transform made the, made the normal throw whiff. Yeah, not Dragon Buster this time. Okay, we want to see some pressure from this dragon. That'll do. That'll do, Dragon. That'll do. No! Don't give him the chance to counter throw you. And jump away. No, gets the gets the slam. Oh, but gets the Yomi counter. That's huge. That's a whole round and a whole Dragon meter. Great play from Masher FGC. Again, not earning their name. 
Four. Exactly. <laughs> Yummy! Actually, we might have to do that. Oh, and Dragon can respond to this. Oh, not quite good. Again, Dra Midori's got... You've got a lot to learn with Midori, to be fair. You've got two modes... Of, two sets of moves to learn. Human moves and Dragon moves. And what happens when you transform. I love this. Yes. Head the butts. Back sweep, not so useful against Rook. Looks like Mash FGC is perhaps more used to playing against Zoners than against another. Maybe they're not familiar with this matchup. That would make a whole lot of sense, actually. Because the way they're playing Midori would indicate they know quite a bit about Midori. But they're figuring it out. A perfect answer. That's exactly what I just said. If you, if you see that landslide coming in, you want to respond to it. Yeah, the ground bees as well. This is working out nicely for Masha now. Figuring it out. Can, Teco can Tecopo adjust to this style? Maybe they can. Windmill Crusher. Great. But another Yomi counter! Masher FGC getting the reads. Should have already been in dragon form though, to be honest. Kind of wasting that super. Just dragging it. Now is the time. Okay, that's a perfect time to do it. Waited patiently. Perfect time. Just, yep, yeah, Dragon Buster this. No, not too slow. As Frosty like points out in the chat, you can get all the reads of the world sometimes though, but if you don't play it right, you're not going to win still. This game is a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge. There are a lot of hard reads that can be made. You've still got to know what you're doing. Oh, and a perfectly timed Windmill Crusher. Super throw to Kopo. Looks like they have adjusted. Can Masha hold on? Are they going to be able to do a comeback? Very risky punch. Haven't got Dragon Meter, but does get the Yummy again. How many Yummies are we going to get? Dragon should have been used immediately. Now it is. Dragon Buster, just do it. No, just Dragon Buster, please. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow that. If you're going to make sure you get that kind of damage in, I'll allow it. Good match this though. Going to the final round. Walk up normal throw. Very cheeky from the dragon. That's the one way you can lose to Rook's grabs. Dragon going to town here. Ollie Dragon cheering on the cheering on the green dragon. But now can Rook finish this? He's got the Oki situation off the windmill crusher. Not the best one. But Midori has jumped away and gets the butt slam counter. And another butt slam. Midori takes it. Masha FGC with the comeback and learning before our eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to get the final decider. So this is going to be fascinating. Both these players adapting on the fly to each other. Fantastic parry. Wow. As I said, if you're feeling fruity and you want to try a few neutral parries, I like it. But I love that B as well. Great air vines from Tokopo though. And again, Midori's slow back warp speed. Can't quite escape that. I like that jump away there though. Just waste your time. Get that dragon meat. And now is the time to dragon. You've got to do it. Yep, Dragon Buster will beat this. Oh, talent swoop, beautiful. Okay, here's the knockdown. Don't allow him to super you. Perfect punish this time from Masha. It really does look like they're just learning. Fantastic stuff. We'll get some messages and some retweets. Thank you very much for the uh, that people. I appreciate that on the Twitters. I don't have the most Twitter followers in the... Oh, could have parried that one. Oh, the Windmill Crusher. Okay, Tokopo. Can they got to pull this back? No parry for you with the Meaty Boot. Das Meaty Boot could not be Das Parried. Another throw. Looking like... Oh, a new mix-up from Tokopo, but Mash FGC was ready for the tick grab. Doesn't know the juggle. I would just waste your time here if you can, Masha. You could do the comeback with the dragon, but what on earth goes in with the hut? The friendly hug. But Rook's still going to take it with the invulnerable frames of the super. This is why. This is why. What a comeback from Tokopo. But, well, what, hanging on rather than a comeback. But yeah, so risky to do those norm do the pressure as normal Midori. Even when you look like you got it in control, Rook is just such a threat to you as a norm. Oh, I like this. Okay, not quite perfect this time. As I say, if in doubt, Talon Swoop, Dragon. Oh, if, sorry, if in doubt, Dragon Buster. <laughs> or Jump and Talon Swoop. Again, don't like that back A. Not, not, not a fan of that in neutral. Yes, that, however. Dragon Buster's in neutral and Air Bees. Air Bees at head height. All they're talking about. Oh, but what a perfectly timed Windmill Crusher again from Tokopo. They really are good at punishing. And the bit, yes, jump back. I like that Masha FGC is doing a lot of jump back with Midori. 
Some characters want to get a hard read on Rook going for a command grab or a super and get a jump forward. Don't like that as Midori. I much prefer, oh, again, don't, I, yes, I really like that not comboing. Don't risk trying to juggle in certain situations against Rook because that's what happens. You just give him the opportunity to tank a point of damage. Get a Windmill Crusher, get the OK. Again, Master FGC is really getting some strong reads here. They're managing to jump, but they've also been getting Yami counters on Rook. Must be quite frustrating for Tokopo, but that's a strong position for Tokopo. What do they do, though? Yeah, back, wisely backs away, reading the Dragon Transformers coming. Still a really tough read. It, it works out, though. Yeah, as Frosty says, uh, Masher FGC is definitely not mashing in Fancy Strike. Maybe they learn. Maybe they mash in other games. But if, if you want to mash buttons and not, I think, Fancy Strike is not the game for you. Fancy Strike is all about thinking and deciding what to do. Making the right move at the right time. It's not about mashing your buttons. It's not about doing difficult combos. It is about this spacing, though. Look at this from Masher. Spacing masterclass there from Masher FGC. Poking away. Keeping out to Kopo just with normal attacks. And a few special long range attacks. But this time to Kopo gets in past that wall. But another perfect read from Mash FGC. I think they might have this one under control now with that super meter if they can use that dragon form. But that butt slam will be punished with the anti-air delayed windmill crusher. Only two more damage. But the dragon form should be critical here. No, don't try and don't try and this is where Rook has to go on the defensive. And a and Masha! Wow! Wow, Masha takes it. So yeah, both these players definitely got a little bit to learn about that matchup, but both figuring it out. Both really doing well. Yeah, only only level 11 and level 8 on Midori. So yes, can't be sorry if I'm being too critical to any of these players. That was really exciting to watch. We've gone straight back into another match. 